Hi, hello everyone, this is Easter Box in Season 8, around 5 of the Arena Games. Let's see how things are going. I think I just said some trash in this round, but um, that's a big, naked, uh, giant dude. We got Nahum the Nephil. The Vine Shield, the Heartfinder Sword. Ah, that's nice. Iron Face, Rive of Shadows, Boots the Messenger, Lifelong Protection, and Ring of Regen. And quite a few nature gems. So maybe some uh, Swarm or something like that. And then Can You Be Fooled, the Sun Feeling Shaman. With a great sort of sharpness, dragon helmet, armor knights, chi shoes, lifelong protection, and a burning pearl. And one astral. And two astral pearls. I wonder if this is going to be a magic dueler. I don't know. Oh, he casts Howl. Okay. Well. You know. You know, you should just live through. Yeah, I mean, this shouldn't be too hard for the Neville. Should just kind of slaughter this thing, overpower it. Or out chaff it, really. Hmm. What is this? Oh, it's Morale Brook, but eh, it's got some decent protection in that thrail. I mean, it. Okay, it got hit. There we go. So, Neffel won once. Now it goes against whatever trash I sent in, which was just maybe, again, the Centaur Hire from Thad. Yeah. At least I don't script them to retreat, so they, they kill a few imps. Uh, next up, we've got Niflheim against Fenoria, so we've got Owl Quill Go, the Niflheim Jarl, with an Owl Quill. Um, and two Heartfinder Swords against a uh, Big Daddy Murder Cookie, who we've seen before as this thing. Uh, apparently, I missed Kirky's gift, not that it mattered much. <laughs> Stone Bird, just a ton of attacks, my goodness. Damage reversal, Helmet of the Dawn, pretty good. Oh, and that auto, uh, auto will o wisp thing as well. Yep, got stabbed to death. Next up, Zibalba against Fomoria. So we've got boss of this gym, the Heliophagus. The Mask of the Vampire. Oh, that's, that's a pretty good one. Nice. Um, Chain Mill Displacement, Boots of Quickness, Soulstone of the Wolves for Howl, Elfbane, and uh, Arm Lost thing. Pretty nice. And they're against a uh, Murder Cookie. We'll see how that goes. The Will O Wisps aren't going to be able to. I'm pretty sure Helio Fat Guy have a. Oh, who lost their arm? Oh, yeah, he lost both his arms. You lose any arms? Absolutely not. Oh, but you are fleeing. Nice. Nice! Murder Cookie is... Did they both die? Uh, no, the healer fell guy lived. He was just up in the air at the end, I guess. Or I'm blind. I don't know. Just a big arena. So, Nahum the Nephil versus boss of this gym with uh, with many less arms than previous. Uh, which is a little unfortunate for him, but he still does have his Pokemon strategy and his Mask of the Vampire. So, we'll see how it goes. And I think, you know, Nahum's gonna try and cast Howl as well if he can get it off. Oh, but I think it costs three gems. So he might not be able to do it. Which is gonna be pretty unfortunate for him. But he does have arms, and he has a Heartfinder Sword, if I recall right. And if he just finds the heart of the Heliophi guy, he can win in a single blow. And then tank all his chaff until he kills it all. On, uh, let's see. But well, I think generally things seem to like just attacking the square directly in front of them, so it's unlikely. This might be another one of those turn timer matches. He got just a... Oh, uh, not that crazy. But he's healing up from his previous fight. Climbing up there steadily. I, mean, I don't think there's going to be enough rounds and enough healing for him to survive the extra effect of the Heartfinder. I don't think he's going to get past 1000 HP or anything. Not unless this is just really ridiculous, but one... I think the Nephil Nahum will turn timer first, but then he won't be able to get away because there's too much chaff in the way. And then the Heliophag guy will turn timer eventually, and since they can fly, he'll just leave.
And you're not getting whittled. No, not at all. Vampire Drain's doing a bit every time, but it's not more than the regen. Man, if he had those Heartfinder swords, he would have made mitts me to this giant, but unfortunately, all he's got is this barbed tail. I like how I think I'm clicking on that guy and his leadership is going up occasionally, or maybe maybe I'm getting too confused. But I think that Naham's leadership was only 250 earlier. Okay, he is routing now. But he's not going to be able to get out. Until we get to like the second turn timer, where everyone routes in the whole battle. And then the Helia Pack guy can fly. Yep. I think he might make it off the map and they'll both die. Yeah, they're both dead. So. Solid. There was no winner, I guess. Well, congratulations to the independents who might have taken one of my provinces. See you next time.